There we go. Let's head on out over to Falkreath, baby. Wait. Oh. I know you. Oh. I don't know. Everybody's My moving shrill. around. Is that, is that Azura Star? It is. How did you come to possess such a rare treasure? Oh, you know how it is. I'm a Dunmer. We all got one. <laughs> we all got one now. We all carry one around. <laughs> Better watch out. <laughs> Who knows? I might trap your soul. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fuck with Morrowind! When we had last left the last dragonborn, they were deep in the sewers of solitude, solving problems that had to do with the shivering isles and the madness that had poured forth from its gaping maw. But... Now, with that out of the way, and Thorin, the mastermind behind much of the goings-on down there, slain, they now proceeded out to meet with a blacksmith who turned out to be angry as shit. And so, they also slew her as well, and then traveled out to a crumbling tower that was filled with a guy who missed his wife. But there were bandits in the way. Now it was time to slay more bandits and uncover the truth about missing wife. This is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Welcome back. Look at this fucking lighting though, huh? Choop. There we go. Also, let's see. Gentle viewers... In between videos, right? Wrote in. Of course, we did a little inventory management, sleeping, all that, just as well. And of course, as always, thanks to folks who like people's comments to signal boost. And you know what? Sometimes it just makes people feel good, right? Anyhow, let's see. Gentle viewers, Mind Bosma and A Name wrote in with information about the arcane blacksmith item, right? Remember, we dropped it. The the Smith's apron. We dropped it thinking that, of course, as it appears here, let's see, yeah, as it appears here, it looks pretty normal. That is not the case, however. For as you see, gentle viewer, upon donning it, cha -cha -cha, it has a hat <laughs> and a cloak. It's got like a shawl thing going on, right? Or I guess a cloak. Yeah, it's it's a cloak. <laughs> that's, that's the word. All right. But, uh, amazingly, wow, I actually didn't think that this would be the case. I was about to just speak out of hand here. It does have a hat, but it does not take the hat slot. Wow! That's wild. Wait, if I wear, like, a full helmet... Oh, okay. Okay, so it takes a hat slot, but... Not, like, a... A circlet. Huh, I didn't... I didn't realize there was a distinction and how it grouped those. That is amazing. All right, well, let's get our stuff back on. Here we are, but hey, why not pick it back up, right? We can throw it onto a mannequin or some shit. All right, and also, Gentle Viewer, kind of in an older video, wrote this in around when we first got him. So I don't know if this will, if anything will happen here, but why not find the fuck out, right? If anyone All right. sneaks up on us. Let's see, let's do a little trade here. But Gentle Viewer, Purple Schlurp, wrote in recently, relative to the recording of this, albeit on an older video, right? <coughs> on an older video! That we should see if Jizarko will actually equip the Boots of Blinding Speed. Right? Because I have no idea if speed is one of the buffs that actually conveys over to followers. Obviously, attack speed didn't do anything. You know? go only has so, much room so you are using it. Okay. We follow then. Now, Jizargo. Wait there. It will be done. Is he going faster? I feel like he's not going faster. It will be done. I feel like he's going normal speed. All right, it was worth a is shot. I thought it was a good enough idea to give to it a, give it a go. All right, let's do a little trading Desargo again. Only has so much room to carry things. There we go. You know what? Here, for, for comparison's sake, what is it? Here, Jizargo, run another lap real it quick. Will be done. Let's see. If anything, 
<laughs> he almost seemed faster without them. It will be done. Yeah. Imperceptible. Is that all? Okay. Jazargo, are you still in follow mode? You coming with? Oh no, because he's still waiting. Okay, here. We are leaving. Follow me. Jazargo is ready for more adventure. Yeah, you are, Jazargo. Alright, let's head on up here and uncover the final truth about what the fuck has been going down at this crumbling ruin of a tower. Alright. Let's head on back up. Open around. Back out to where we were. And see what is the fate of the wife. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Good. Okay. Anything else up in here? Ransom of Zarek? No. Okay. A lot of reading material. Take all the money. Wolf Queen, Watcher. Oh! Alright, Snowback. Who are you and what are you doing in my tower? Stand aside, woman. I'm here for fuel. Oh my god. I didn't even look it up. Remember we were remarking last time? That it would be wild if the bandit leader were the wife? Holy shit, I think it's happening! Stand aside, woman! I'm here for Fiola! Fiola? How do you know that name? Her husband sent me. Where is she? I am she! <laughs> Krister? He's here? Wait, you know him? The fool's my husband. I'm Fiola. Or I was, once. Don't you see? I left that old scab, came home to Skyrim, and found this rabble of bandits. Didn't take much to prove myself and knock them into shape. Now every free blade from here to Windhelm wants to sign on for a piece. Oh man, oh if only she- <laughs> Alright, I like mine a little bit better where, <laughs> where somehow, I guess it makes sense that she left him, right? Rather than just somehow, you know, because if they were in a good relationship, she probably would have said, Oh, honey, I'm off to become a bandit warlord, right? <laughs> All right, that's quite a story. And it won't end here. I'd die before I went back. There's no way you'll come peacefully? What am I supposed to tell Kreister? This is pointless. I should just kill you and be done with it. And what am I supposed to tell Kreister? I don't know. I never expected the old bag to follow me so far. Just get rid of him. But don't kill him. I don't hate the man. I just want him to go back to his farm and forget about me. I'll try getting him to leave. This is pointless. I should just kill you and be done with it. I'll try getting him to leave. Take my wedding band. Stoon only knows why I kept it this long. He'll recognize it. Tell him whatever you think will convince him to leave. The ring itself is worth a few bits. Keep it as thanks for cutting off the last vestige of an unwanted fate. How did they even get married? Why did... If she doesn't hate him... <laughs> what? Why not recruit him into the bandit gang? Phil. I didn't expect to see you again. What became of my doting husband? I haven't dealt with him yet. Then stop wasting my time. Wow, that's wild. Holy shit, it really sounded like I knew what was going to happen, but no. I <laughs> This is another one of those situations where it sounded totally like I looked up what the fuck was going to happen, but I 100% did not. <laughs> Well, I fucking love that. All right. Anything else around here? Sorry. I mean, I'm I am the last dragonborn. I have to go through this. Look, I'm not going to fight you, but I do need to look and see if there's any like word walls, like a big treasure chest. Usually there's a big treasure chest back here. You got one of them? Wow, no big treasure chest? What the fuck? All right. Sure. Let's see. Got a nice bed and everything. You don't mind that I killed like everybody else though, huh? <laughs> you don't seem to mind about them! <laughs> Are you sure you don't want your husband back? I don't know how much the rest of the gang is gonna feel about this because they're all pretty fucking dead. You could at least like train him into being one of your lackeys or something. <laughs> Alright. Jeez. Let's go down. Maybe she'll find more. I don't know. Where do all these bandits come from? Maybe she'll just absorb another group of bandits. Oh, that would be amazing. Secret faction unlocked, right? The Mistwatch bandits. 
Sort of like the shit at uh, the Knights of the White Stallion or whatever in Oblivion. Uh, where you could, like, re I think you could recruit people to it. I can't remember. But it would be amazing if you could just, like, recruit up uh, the ranks of this fucking bandit group. <laughs> oh, fuck. Amazing. Okay. Let's head on down. Let's see. Over here. That dragon is still pissed as hell in the distance. That's fine. Okay. Over here. Where did he say that they came in from? From, like, High Rock or Cyrodiil or something? I don't even know. Okay. Over this way. Good. And he should be. Yeah, there you are. Let's see. Is the wedding band unique in any way? Let's see here. No. Well, does it have, like, a cool look to it? Is this an abnormal look? I feel like this is a cool abnormal look for a ring. You know? I feel like a lot of rings do not look this way. Hang on, let's... Do we have, like, a plain silver ring? Oh, here's a gold one. Okay. Yeah, it's just a silver version. Eh. Okay. Fair enough. Hey. What news? Why isn't Fiona with you? I found this ring, but no sign of her. She's dead, but I found this. <laughs> Too bad we can't tell him the truth. What if, like, what would happen if he did go up there and talk to her, right? What would happen? She doesn't hate him. I feel like maybe he, they could work it out. There's some way they could somehow work this out. Because it sounds like she just wanted a break from the life, you know? What if he's down to clown? We don't know. Krista came all the way out here. Maybe he's down to clown and just become a bandit. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we could still, like, do something with this. Because they don't both hate each other. She just wanted out of that life. And he came all the way out here, so maybe he's willing. You know? Maybe he's willing to become a Mistwatch bandit. I found this ring, but no sign of her. She's dead, but I found this. I feel like I should say she's dead because that, that sounds way more likely. <laughs> you know, with regards to the quest and everything. She's dead, but I found this. That. I gave it to her on our wedding day. Help me, Divines. It's true, isn't it? I'm sorry. Keep the ring. I cannot bear the weight of them in my heart. And I must make the journey alone now. Thank you for... Thank you. I will uh, find you, uh. Viola. <laughs> okay. Now he, he's so heartbroken, he's so distraught by the loss of his wife, of her death, that he, he, his life spirals out of control. He can't be a farmer anymore. He can't go back to that. He becomes a bandit as well. <laughs> Wait, here she is. What's she doing here? Oh, it's you. I didn't think you could handle this on your own. Did you get rid of Krister? Yeah, he's gone. He won't bother you again. How did... No, forget it. I don't care to know. I'm free of the little man, and that's what matters. Wait, so do you I hate him? I debt, and I aim to repay it. We'll see each other again someday. For now, goodbye and thanks. Oh my god. Can she become a follower? Will she show back up again as named Fiola? What? Well, if you won't marry- go back to him, will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's go on out here. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's go on out. <laughs> go on out this way. Should we go back into this room? Has something changed now that she's left? So is she going to show up as a random road encounter now or what? Is That's what it sounds like, you know? I feel like we're down for another Terran Dreth situation. Man, she really walked down there past all of the bodies. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't have anything to say about that? Come on, Fiola. I'm the coolest dude around. I, Me and my buds, Jazargo and Gordon, annihilated all these a-holes. <laughs> if you won't marry me, at least marry Jazargo or Gordon. <laughs> all right. Let's head on out over here. Good, good, good. Let's see, anything else around here? No? Nothing? 
No, okay. It was worth a shot. All right, now let us get the fuck on out of here, right? So we've got all of this accomplished, right? Oh, author of the mysterious note. Of course, I almost forgot. We need to go back to solitude. Okay. So what's our fastest route? We can, we fucking scream at that dragon in the distance. It's been screaming at us. It's time for us to fucking scream back, baby. Hell yes. Let's do a little quick save. Get our bend will at the ready. Oh dear lord, can I make this? Can I survive? Let's find out! We're fine. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay. There we are. Good. And over and away. Alright. Good. Okay. Here we are. It would have been really nice if she did comment on the fact that we we slew all the bandits or something. I wonder if there was another way that could play out. I don't know, her going down the steps or whatever, it was handy for us to turn in the quest and all that, you know? But it, it makes me wonder if it could have resolved in a different way, you know? Huh. I'm tempted to look it up, but it really sounds like it's not done yet. You know, it'll show up again. She'll show up on the road or something. Oh, fuck. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Let's see. When was the quick save? Fuck, it was really back there, wasn't it? Oh, <laughs> shit. Okay. <laughs> Look, I thought it was this clear shot, but then that motherfucker took, like, 50 million Gs and turned real fast. Okay. Let's see over here. Good. Like that. Great. Down this way. There we are. And then let's get our bend will readied up again. Cool. Alright. This time for sure. We'll even quick save once our cooldown is done. Man, it's been a while since we fought a blood dragon as well. Okay. Let's pop a quick save. Let's get a bit closer so it's a bit easier to land the hit. Because I don't know what the range limit is on the shunt, you know. Huh? There we go. Almost thought we were gonna miss it. All right, take us over by solitude. Oh shit! How can I serve you, Fury? Hey. There we are. Good stuff. All right. And then, where are we got over here? Let's go to the warehouse. It's closer. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, shit. Ooh. I will look for a spot to land. Right. So it sounds like we will be meeting with the museum curator based on the mysterious note. All right. Let's head on back. And... Now, should we pawn something off here real the quick? Warm sand of I welcome there. you. Take a look from here. All right. Do you have anything of interest, actually? Hmm. Any cool items I want to collect? Nah. Fair enough. Okay. And then, let's get rid of some shit potions. Let's see. How about these resist fire ones? Why not? Invisibility and all that. There we go. May your road lead you. Hey, are we? What's our money at? Okay. I was about to say, are we actually like near a million? I wonder if we will reach a million. I don't know. Seems pretty difficult. Okay. Head on down this way. Good, good, good. Just through natural play, of course. We could definitely hit a million by just, you know, waiting a whole bunch. Shit like that. If we really wanted to, we definitely have a million in, like, resources. It was fairly easy to hit a million in Oblivion, given how the vendor system works there, you know? Vendors don't have a finite amount of gold that has to recharge. They just have, like, a gold cap. Okay. If that makes sense. So, like, if a vendor has 500 gold, you could sell them, like, 10 items worth 400. You know? And you'd be good to go. You wouldn't have to wait or anything. Oh, 
wow, so it's over here at this area. We'd been here a while back, too. Okay. Sure. Probably shouldn't use our flame cloak in case that causes an issue. Alright. Hey, look, yeah, there is someone standing out over there. Alright. There we go. I don't remember the name of the person who ran the museum, but maybe we'll be reminded of it. If this is them. Oh! It's a saint! Speak quickly. Hey, it's Stada! Stada was definitely in the Shivering Isles. Definitely. I think she was like Make one of the higher point. ups for the Golden Saints, if not the you highest up. Make it Don't worry about that. <laughs> yes? You must be the one who sent that note! Indeed. I believe I have what you're looking for. Give Sheogorath shaped amber. I believe I have what you're looking for. Give Sword of Jigalag. I'll have the artifact you seek, but I think I'll be keeping it. So long. Okay, I'll give you the sword. Right? I suppose thanks are in order. Well, you gave me your hat? Okay, I suppose this is goodbye. It would seem so. Mm -hmm. Oh. Keep your hands to yourself. Oh! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Alright. Sure. I'll take some wheat. What else is around here? We've been here before, but hey. There you go. Definitely take those butterflies. Because, you know, how many times are we going to be back around this area? Bunch of tongs, calipers, of course. Salt piles, we'll take those. Okay. Anything else? Conjurer's potion. Okay. Good. Wow. Alright, so what did- what all did you give me? I didn't even really pay attention. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Huh. Is there a way to sort by, like, newly gained items or whatever? I feel like there isn't. Okay. That's fine. Let's see. Enchanted, equipped, named, no, no, no. Okay. Let's see. So you gave us your hat, I think. I don't think it was that, though. Oh, Stada's helmet increases your stamina by 70 points. Huh. Okay. Weird that there was no equivalent yet for the Dark Seducers. You know? They didn't show up, just the Golden Saints. Weird. Huh. Okay. Let's see. Did we get a note or anything? An anonymous letter. Is this it? Oh, shit. <laughs> this is not it. This is- if she gave us a note, it wasn't this one. <laughs> Someone, please help! A group of necromancers are experimenting with conjuring zombies using ancient dangerous magic, which I fear will have unintended and irreversible consequences. I was expelled from their studies as their ambitions grew into folly against my warnings. They're performing a ritual to summon a large group of these foul, uncontrollable creatures as we speak in the southernmost area of Skyrim and must be stopped before it's too late. Oh no. Okay, we'll put that one off for a bit. Let's see. Bounty. Uh, couldn't be that. Huh. Did I get anything in particular here? Golden Glow, Bill of Sale. Helhjarchen Hall Charter. Never looked at the charter? Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Lakeview Charter. Letter from Bolger Bearclaw? Who is Bolger Bearclaw? Friend. We seek your aid. A dark necromancer has been attacking innocents along the northern coast, accompanied by strange creatures who do his every bidding. I trust you can help us with this troublesome matter and investigate on our behalf. Bolger Bearclaw. Apparently we don't need to. Okay. 
A letter from Tyra Bloodfire? That doesn't sound right. Lycanthropic Legends of Skyrim? I don't know that we got a note or anything, you know? Note on new wares? Huh. Many thanks for dealing with the ruffians that have plagued humble merchants such as this one for some time. Coin- Oh, this is from Rasad. Coin flow. <laughs> How does Rasad sound again? <laughs> I don't even remember. <laughs> Coin flows well once again. Rasad has new wares for sale that would interest one such as you. More of the arms and armor used by the saints and seducers have been found and can be yours for a price. I think I'm doing Argonian more. This one has also traded for strange new raw materials. Risad knows not what they could be used for, but this one is sure you could find a way to put them to good use. May your road lead you to warm sands. Thanks, Risad. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I think we're good. I don't think we got anything. Did we? Hmm. Let's see. We're almost scrolled all the way through. The Apprentice's Assistant? I think that's just a book-ass book. We should really sort through our book situation, huh? Some other time. <laughs> Let's go track down some other shit. Guess what we did, though? Right? We capped out fucking archery, which means it's time perfectly aligned to do Legends Lost. The first caravan was attacked by dwarven creatures. They managed to escape, but I found a copy of their logs. Oh, I need to read Carriage Driver's Note. Okay. Along with details of all the other caravans, the next carriage was headed towards Whiterun. I should see what I can find. Okay. So let's read Carriage Driver's Note. Okay. Oh, didn't we already read this? Yeah. Yeah, drawn to the music. Yeah, we read that. Okay. It just didn't update there. Okay, find the second caravan. Great. So, headed towards Whiterun. Does it show up on our map? I wonder. Oh, it does. Okay. Sure. Alright, let's head back up to the city and we can take the carriage over to Whiterun. Great fucking idea. Okay. Up and over here. Up this way. There we go. Good, good, good. I really wonder what the fuck will happen when we encounter the bandit warlord again. How wild. Alright. Head on up this way. Good, good, good. I'm surprised that you can't ever really become, like... You can't ever manage your own group of bandits or some shit. In Elder Scrolls. Maybe you could in some of the older ones, right? Because, you know, a lot of players do... Will have the tendency to go on, like, murder sprees and whatnot. It would be cool if, like... You went on a murder spree in a town or whatever. And people were like, Huh, we saw you were causing a ruckus. Perhaps you would be inter- We wanted to join you. And then you create your own little team of bandits and you can, like, raid towns and shit. You know? I mean, sure, you can become, like, a vampire and shit like that, but... Hey, look! <laughs> it's Prime Mabel! Oh my god, look at her! What's she doing? She's roaching up there! She's roaching! That's what she's doing on top of there! That is a roach-ass maneuver! Fire Mabel, what are you doing up there? Can I, like, give you a yell? Oh! Oh, sorry. <laughs> she didn't enjoy that. What the fuck? How'd you get up there like that? My father was Is that where you naturally spawn in at? What the fuck? All right. Let's see. Oh shit! <laughs> yes! Oh, we are fucking roaching big time, baby. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh! oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Let's head on out. Oh, shit. Let's go over to the carriage. Roach, for those who do not know, is uh, the name of the horse in the Witcher games. Wait. It is Geralt's horse, you. always. Which is, I've only been a part coincidentally, of the where I stole the, <laughs> the idea oh, that every horse I own in every game will just be Prior Mabel. Right? <laughs> it's, it's a very similar concept. Every horse that that motherfucker owns uh, is Roach. Right? Okay. Let's head on up and around this way. And in uh, Witcher 3, at least, there was a very popular bug or whatever where the horse would sometimes end up in weird-ass places. Very similar to that. Okay. Honestly, it's amazing that horses in Skyrim don't do that more often. Okay. Need there. a ride? Hey. Where do you want to go? I want to go to Whiterun. Climb and back and we'll be off. Thank you. Okay. Let's be off. When I'm in Whiterun, I always visit the Gildegreen. Never hurts to pay your respects to Lady Kinnerith. Whoa. Particularly in my line of work. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense because you would have to deal with people like wild creatures and stuff. What kind of random encounters do you think this motherfucker is getting on the road, huh? Jeez. Maybe he's like really adept at slaying bears too. Uh, who could say? Alright, let's pawn off a few things here and then we'll rest in our house. How can I assist? Take a look. Alright, let's vendor off some bullshit. How about this fortify stamina shit? There we go. Get rid of two of them. May your road lead you All right. to warm sand. Now, let's head on back up. Here we are. And we'll go on into our house and we'll rest up. That way we're fully restored and everything for the next day. And we'll mount our adventure out. I need oh. to ask you to stop. That... Oh, oh. Shouting is making people nervous. All right, won't happen again. Good. Glad we straightened that out. Yeah, okay, buddy. You know, it's funny how nobody else ever says that it's making them nervous. Just the fucking guards, huh? You ever think about that? It's only the guards who get nervous about it, you know? The actual townsfolk, they're either, like, awe-inspired or they're like, Wow, fucking rad, dude! Holy shit, it's the Dragonborn! But the guards... They start to feel a little fucking inadequate. The fucking town guards. Eat a fucking butt. Honored to see you All right, again. Let's go on king. up here. There we go. And then let us. Oh shit! It's already a good time of day, so let's rest for just four hours. There we are. Good enough. And then let's head on out. Okay. Good. 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 All right. And then, we've still got it tracked, right? Yeah, good shit. And then from there, we can go back to Helhjarchen. Because I'm assuming, you know, rule of threes, there's going to be a third caravan. Or maybe we'll just immediately go to a dungeon or whatever for this. Right? But there will definitely be a third step in this. Video games, rule of threes, all the time. Never fails. Especially considering what this weapon is, right? Rule of threes for sure. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Ho there, Prior Mabel. Let's head on out. Oh, there we go. And up to the northeast. There we are. We'll swing around this way. Why not? There we are. So I guess now that we've done all that shit, Rasad and the other Khajiit caravans begin to carry the Saints and Seducers equipment. Is that how that works? Because I did notice when we were selling off a few potions and other knickknacks, they started carrying like, oh, Golden Saint armor or Saint armor or Seducers glove or boot or something like that, you know? Maybe that's it. Kind of a fun way to to utilize them, but also Man, the... They just have so much more amazing stock than most other vendors now. <laughs> right? Okay. They really have just entirely put to shame standard Skyrim land vendors. Goodness gracious. Alright. Oh, you know what? If vehicles... 
and surely they will. Now that we know that Starfield, right? Fuck me, yes, right? Now that in the, in remember a while back in this fucking playthrough, I was like, oh, it'd be so cool if you could see like caravans and carriages and wagons and shit going along, like real ass vehicles going along the roads. Fuck me, they got vehicles in Starfield, right? The tech will carry over in some way. In what way? I don't know. Could there be some weird limitation to it that we can't, uh, that's unforeseen? Perhaps. But it's possible. There could be wagons on the roads. We could see real ass Khajiit caravans going along the roads of wherever Elder Scrolls 6 may be set, right? Because we don't know for certain. There's just a lot of scuttlebutt, right? We don't know for certain. Don't set yourself up for disappointment, you know? Anyway, over here, it would be really fucking rad to see, like, a whole bunch of different caravans and shit. Oh, and imagine that here in Skyrim, right? I don't know how it'll be in the future, but here in Skyrim, like, there's other cool shit that you can see. Like, you already see little entourages of people just walking around, but what if you saw, like, you know, sort of at the beginning of the game, you're in the prisoner caravan and all that. What if you saw various, like, fucked up prisoners of war and shit going going on and around, like the Thalmor are capturing people. Shit like that. You could see the Khajiit caravans going by. If you're closer to the eastern end of Skyrim, you could see, like, um, Morrowind refugees coming in or whatever, and their, their caravans look very different compared to, like, the Thalmor ones, or compared to the Khajiit ones and all that, right? Be so- there's so much opportunity! Oh! How exciting. Alright. Skeleton. What have you got? A seedy guard's note. Oh my gosh, they were so seedy. Find evidence of the caravans in Whiterun. Oh, okay. Let's read about this seedy guard. Okay, here we go. Telvani handed the cargo off to us at the checkpoint. They seemed a bit on edge, but they aren't sharing details exactly. Just that they were attacked by dwarven machines bunch of useless fetchers, all of them. Oh, th this is definitely a Dunmer. <laughs> we have also had a surprise visit from the Hlalu Caravan. The whole crew was an odd bunch. More scholars and farmers and warriors, I'd say. But a few were just my type. I tried to chat it up with a fetching raven-haired girl. But she just kept those sultry red eyes fixed on the cargo as it changed hands. In any case, the main package is secured, but as fear it was damaged during transport. Oddly, the Hlalu captain didn't seem too concerned about it. He and the boss talked for a bit by themselves. Tried my luck with the raven head tart once more, and she told me her name was Veline, Veline. She asked whether Captain Inodes would be at the next checkpoint. I told her no, but the truth is, I didn't even know. I don't know why she cared anyway. Their cargo is a decoy. The real package is going to Inderil at the next stop. Once that's delivered, I'm hearing we might stop for a day or two in Wide Run to get our bearings. The captain of the Inderil caravan is a Nord and he mentioned heading over to the Hall of the Dead to pay his respects. That's fine, I'll be paying mine at the tavern. Hopefully I'll get a chance to buy sweet little Valene a drink. Ugh. Definitely seedy. Okay, and of course, they were attacked. Right, this is a very, <laughs> you know what? This is a very Fallout New Vegas situation, you know what I mean? <laughs> All these decoy shipments, one of them's the real deal. This is a very New Vegas situation going on right here. Uh-oh. One of these fucking cargo drivers or whatever, gonna get shot in the head with an arrow or some shit. <laughs> They're gonna come back and, oh my god. All Hegelian dialectics is gonna break loose. <laughs> <gasps> All right, there we go. Take some of that shit. Let's munch on a little food. Oh, fuck. What are you doing over here? All right, guess what I need? I need a fucking soul gem. 
Are you angry about this? Are you an angry dude? I am. I'm an angry dude. I'm an angry dude. Uh, I'm an angry dude. There we go. Good shit. Take your toe. Thank you. Okay. Got anything else here? In the rubble? We might do, but... I'm incapable of finding it. Alright. Sure. Really wild how far off-road they went. <laughs> I guess maybe they were just trying to haul ass through the wilderness to lose the automatons and all of that. Maybe that's it. It is peculiar that they are seeking them out. You know, that these automatons are seeking out these decoys and everything in that way. Hmm. I wonder for what reason. Very peculiar. But of course, worth keeping in mind. It's canon until it isn't. Right. Okay. Let's head on up here. There we go. Alright. So we probably should check out the Hall of the Dead. And also the Tavern, it sounds like. We may have luck at either or both. Alright. There we are. Good, good, good. I'm pretty sure we went to, like, a while back, like, almost a hundred videos ago or more or something like that. We went to the dungeon that was related to this quest. You know? Because I kind of vaguely remember seeing a bunch of ghosts and whatnot. You know? I want to say someone even wrote in to the effect of... Like, oh yeah, this is tied to a Creation Club quest or whatever involving this weapon, right? Alright. It'll be funny, we get the this weapon, I don't even like how it looks. <laughs> the, this incarnation, this incarnation of it, what a fucking turn of phrase. This incarnation of it. <laughs> but this incarnation of it, maybe I won't even enjoy the, the look of it, right? Maybe I'll still prefer our... Our Stalrim hammer. Who can say? That said, it does... It does carry a... Hefty degree of importance, right? Do you like how I'm not saying its name? <laughs> Do you like that? It's adding some mystique to it. Oh, shit. Sorry, Prior Mabel. Alright. Let's head on up here. Good, 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 good. Okay. And then... We can stroll our keister on over to... Which one should we hit? Probably the Hall of Dead. Hall of the Dead. That said, let's- if it only names one of them, right, if only one of them shows up on our map, let's go to the opposite one, right? And we'll check out there real quick. Because maybe now that we're on this stage of the quest, there's someone there at the inn who has something to say with regards to the quest. Or there'll be a note. Okay. There we are. Let's get all in here. Good, good, good. Okay. It will be quite difficult to get our armor shit up. Let's see. What also is our... Let me see here. Our XP bonus on. I think it's still magic, right? Or am I mistaken? Oh, shit. Ancient knowledge? No... The Mage Stone, yeah, so we need to also change that, right? Because that'll help immensely with getting our shit up. Okay. I mean, we are kind of close by, well met, you know? Maybe we do that next time we're, we're in the area. Or maybe we do it now, right? We could do it now. Or no, can we take one of our carriages, like our custom carriages, out to Riverwood directly? I think we can. <laughs> I fucking love him. <laughs> he's still going. Oh, man. He's, he's, I, I know a lot of people love to kill him, but he's such a staple of the town for me. It's just not the same without old Heimsker. Oh, shit. What am I doing? I'm an idiot. <laughs> Look, I, I just went, I, I couldn't multitask. I just, like, immediately went into follow quest marker mode. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Let's check at the tavern real quick. Is this the tavern down here? Yeah, there it is. Okay. 
Up here. We'll just see. Come on in. We got warm food, warm We need to be on the lookout specifically for like a note. Hi there. Let's see. The security in White Run is terrible. Shameful is what You're it someone is. who can get things done. Yes. I like hmm. that. All right then. Want to hear a little Nord wisdom? You don't oh, really know. Once was a hero and named Right Work you need. How about fish shopping Oh, up here's a note. Oh, it's for Good. sale. What's for sale? Purchase a tamed goat from Halvar? What the fuck? For sale, one tamed goat, able to carry a hefty amount of weight to the throat of the world and back again. Gives good milk. If interested in purchasing, see Halvar in Rorikstead. Signed, Halvar. Huh, I'll take it. Okay. Need anything else? Just let me know. Yeah, do you know of anyone who came in here who was like a seedy looking guy? Hmm? Anyway, what do you All right, then. If it's a lady you're looking no. for, you best look elsewhere. Once Mikhail, this next song goes out to the dragon boy. And yeah, the CD guard really had to give Mikhail a run for his money. <laughs> All right, let's head on up and over. Oh, shit. Took a broom to the knee. Let's head on out over here to the Hall of the Dead. Oh, should we pop the shrine real quick? Hey, Heimster. Yep. Praise me, Talos. Love that, Talos. Give him a little salute and a nod. <laughs> Keep it up. <laughs> All right. Let's head on over here. In we go. Do you think they respawn the skeletons and shit? Probably not. Maybe the maybe the person who came in here to pay respects is also dead. Oh no, they turned into a note. Caravan captain's note. Okay. Find the detoured caravans. All right. I have to wait to begin reading because it's like you know it's covering it up. <laughs> <clears throat> Now, this guy was the Nord, right? Yeah. We met with Sadrus and picked up the cargo. At least their captain seemed in better spirits, but the others look exhaust looked exhausted. To make matters worse, the air was flush with news about the caravans who didn't make it, sieged by dwarven automatons on the road to Whiterun. My worry is such fears will find their way into the minds of my men, especially when the details of this story seem to corroborate. It only serves to throw more kindling on the flame. Hopefully the other captains have a plan. We've had a few deserters already, and we'll need every available body if these attacks continue. It'll be difficult to convince the men to leave the safety of the tavern for the terrors of the unknown. Even without this dwarven nonsense, the road ahead will only get more perilous given the copious bandits, wolves, and other dangers on the road. Captain Dinodes uh, Inodes has, <laughs> has, has asked us to take a detour with the Drace caravan to Falkreath. Staying off the main road might provide us some cover. Okay. So now we gotta go all the way down to Falkreath. Uh, which gives us the perfect opportunity to hit up our little fucking manor. And then we can change out our sign. Perfect. Alright. There we go. And we'll really speed up the levels on light armor by that. Okay. Good, good, good. I'm assuming we do have to go to Falkreath now, right? Let's see. Detour caravans. Oh, look. And they're right along the fucking way almost. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Love it. Okay, so let's roll on back out. Hey! Fixed your broom you problem. Alright, let's head on out. Speed on along. Uh-oh. Hope, hope no one's getting too nervous with me doing that. <laughs> You keep shouting like that, you make a god nervous. I get too nervous, I'm liable to pull out a dagger and stab the person next to me. <laughs> Just out of pure fear. <laughs> I don't know what this noise is, how this man is traveling slightly faster. <laughs> Despite living in a world of wizards and magic. 
It's very disconcerting for me. <laughs> Take you to any of the all Where right. do you want to go? There we go. Let's head on out over to Falkreath, baby. Climb and back and we'll be off. Thank you. Couldn't ask for better weather. All right. If only you would say something about Falkreath, huh? Sheesh. All right. The great statue of... Wait. Oh. I know you. Oh. I don't know. Everybody's... I sure. Around. Is that... Is that Azura Star? It is! How did you come to possess such a rare treasure? Oh, you know how it is. I'm a Dunmer. We all got one. <laughs> we all got one now! We all carry one around. <laughs> Better watch out! <laughs> Who knows? I might trap your soul! <laughs> Don't fuck with Morrowind! <laughs> all right. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Who knows what kind of Daedric deals we're all cooking up, you know? You can't trust us! <laughs> Who Make sure you say this to Ulfric! <laughs> Alright, let's go on over here. <laughs> Fuck. Alright. Oh shit. Oh, Jazargo! You've laid them to rest. <laughs> They once were hovering. Oh, shit. Oh, man. This was me and a few missions in Red Dead. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, attunement crystal. Holy shit. What? Oh, this is one of those power boxes or whatever from Solstheim. It's just re, re uh, configured, reutilized, repurposed. The model, right? Maybe it's slightly different. The Line's Letter. Inodos. Er, Inodos. Inodos? The reports are right. Wraithguard and Sunder are singing, sending a signal out to anyone that might be listening. I don't know, but I think I know why. The tools were only meant to be used on Numidium. It makes sense that they would never be allowed to leave Morrowind. To ensure this, Kagranak must have put in a failsafe system. If the tools were ever stolen, drones would be activated to cross Tamriel to recover them. The drones would then store the items in a vault until a tonal architect could fetch them. Unfortunately, as I suspected, that information was enough for some of the captains to betray us and change course. They no longer care about the artifacts or the job. They consider the cargo to be a death trap, and are taking measures to unload it. Your caravan might think they were carrying the tools, but Sadris and Hlalu swapped them before we ever got to Whiterun, and intentionally gave them up to the retrieval drones. Fortunately, I managed to track the drones back to a vault near Winterhold, what the locals call the Sightless Pit. I've also discovered the vault can be opened with an attunement crystal, which I've sent along with this letter. As I am no warrior, I dare not venture inside without you. Hopefully this message reaches your party in time, for I know we are of like mind. As a scholar, I want to see the artifacts delivered to my master, and you've always been someone who does not shirk his duty. I have faith that you and your crew can return north and repair this mistake. Valine. Valine. Valin. Yoink. Okay. Let's see. Another skeleton here. An iron arrow. No, thank you. Anything else of interest around here? Eh, it doesn't seem like it. How about this crashed wagon? No, it doesn't seem like it either. Okay. Fair enough. Let's mount back up, and we'll get on old P. Mabel. There we go. Good, let's place a marker down for our place just as well. Good. All right. Great. And we'll head on back up there. Good stuff. Okay. Oh shit, and then where did I actually want to go? <laughs> where did I actually want to go for this? 
Oh no, where was I planning to go? <laughs> Wait, I, I got so carried away with thinking about Lakeview Manor and going there that I've completely forgotten where I originally intended to travel. Ooh, boulder zone. Okay. Where the fuck was I gonna go out of Lakeview? What was I gonna do there? I wanted to go somewhere that I could only go by way of that. What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit! Oh gosh! Oh! Jeez! Wow! They really got a fucking bead on us. Alright, let's head on up here. Okay. Well, you know what? Hey, maybe we can... <laughs> I'll, I'll roll back the tapes or something, right? Or, or or perhaps an intrepid gentle viewer will write in telling me what I what I intended to do. <laughs> Where I intended to go after this. But, of course, it, it, it does work out that we can sort of, like, settle down here for a bit. We can stow away some of the things we've had on us and all that, right? We got some items that we need to put up on display and all that junk. Oh, shit. I think Jazargo is in deep doo-doo. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, it's Cave Bear. Oh shit. There we go. Is it dead? Oh shit, it's still alive. Okay. <laughs> Very well. Boom. Hell yes. Okay. Good, good, good. Well, like I said, in between videos, we will stow away some of our shit here at Lakeview Manor. And all of that. Man, where did I want to go afterwards? Oh shit, there was an, a wolf here! Every fucking thing is going on down here. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Here, let me just check real quick where you can send us. Maybe it'll, like, jog my take... memory. Yeah, no, no, he's like... He's upset because of combat. Alright, well hey, even better reason to take a, a breather here at the old lake view, huh? All right. When next we come back, we shall once again be setting forth for an amazing adventure and an amazing ride. Until next time, please <laughs> take care of each other.